All right, guys. Uh, so I just wanted to do a quick follow up. So you know how uh, before I was worried about this stretching problem right here, how extended his arm was because on the UEFN one, it looks kind of bad. I think this has more to do with the way that the UEFN was designed and how low poly it is. So it is low poly and you will get some funky looking stretching right here. This is more of a uh, robotic uh, character with joint and sockets or ball and socket joints right here. And it's less of a uh, humanoid uh, organic style rig. And so if you have a rig like this that you're using, then yeah, you might want to use part two. Uh, the techniques in part two to fix this, but if you're not, then it's really not going to be a problem. And you'll see right here, if I eject, oh my God, my mouse, I don't know what's up with it. I need a new mouse. You'll see that there's no problem here. It looks fine. So yeah. So anyway, you can do part two though, if, if you, don't like this and you want to reduce the amount of uh, stretch out in front that happens here, then you can follow up on part two. And uh, <laughs> I don't know what's going on right here. Looks like the uh, feet are doing their own thing. Okay, I think that's only uh, whenever I pause it. Yeah. So anyway, as you can see here, it looks fine. I just, I didn't even think to consider testing this on one of the uh, humanoid creatures or one of their human creatures, <laughs> human creatures. Uh, yeah, I didn't think to test it on them, but yeah, it looks fine. Uh, so anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video.